what we should not forget in order to avoid regret. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. How many times do we regret things, regret to have wasted our time? When we get older and look back at the younger years, wasted time for useless things, wasted time in gossiping, hurting others, wasting time in doing wrong things or other things we regret, having acted against the commands of God or eaten or drank something that is not good for the body, so many things we regret. And we are asked with Second Samuel 12 verse 9, why have you despised the word of the Lord to do what is evil in his sight? But it does not mean that God condemns us. He still has patience. He knows our weaknesses and yet he does not condemn us. Even when we are short-sighted, when we do only what is on hand instead of what is really useful, he still wants to help us. He still has grace and mercy. So what should we do then in order to avoid the regret? We should do as it is written in the letters. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Let us look to Jesus. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. He did not be give up because of the cross. On the contrary, because of the joy that was waiting for him, he thought nothing of the disgrace of dying on the cross. He is now seated at the right-hand side of God's throne. Hebrews 12, verses 1 to 2. Let us set aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely. All the tricks that the devil tries to tell us, all the temptations, let us not look at that and instead look at Jesus. Let's fix our eyes on him, not waste our time in self-righteousness, in other useless things, but let's fear God. Lord, we thank you that we can always turn to you. You know how weak we are, how fearful we are. You know how many times we regret things, how many things we take for granted and are short-sighted. Thank you that that is not what finally counts. Finally, it counts what you have done. You have won the great victory. You went to the cross, you suffered for us, you sacrificed yourself, and you rose from the grave, winning the victory over all devil and death, over temptation, sin, and hell. Help us to fix our eyes on you. And help us to remember your presence. We pray that you strengthen us, that you change us, that you change our mind, our soul, our body, to make us suitable for your kingdom, that we may live to your honor here and in eternity. All praise and honor belong to you. Amen.